Yo, what's going on? Today I want to give you guys a tour of my studio space. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, I want to show you the actual building my studio space is in. It's a little loud out here because my studio space and building is like right beside a Greyhound bus shard in Denver, Colorado, downtown. Um, but it's cool because I like that industrial feel. So you, let me see if I can turn this camera around so you can see the actual building. So this is the building called the temple it's a creative hub space where there's a bakery there's a nonprofit that works with artists and youth there's artists there's sort of like a design little studio uh, over on this block on a like across from the bus yard there's like another creative space but this is the building where I had been working in for the past say six years my friend bought it about eight years ago and turn it into artist studio spaces like I said it's built in 1880s um, sort of abandoned for a while changed hands and then he bought it eight years ago turned into artist spaces really affordable spaces so it's really great for artists around here because the neighborhood is changing a lot so that is one of the things that I'm really grateful for because a lot of neighborhoods are changing but this one it's changing as well, but it's not uh, sort of where all the artists are sort of kicked out at the moment because of this space right here. It's really affordable, so that's why I like it. So let's actually go and see the actual studio space that I have. So yeah, so basically this is my studio space. I have sort of like this blank wall right over here that I paint every year. There used to be something like a, an interactive piece on this one that people could play. This is like my prototype wall, but I change it every year just to have something different to give like new inspiration and color and everything. I usually keep my five gallon buckets and cones and stuff like that here. Also with the spray paint, I put them in sort of the milk crates. You can get these at Home Depot. Um, so usually I just stack them up like this. I try to have them color coordinated, but um, I always just, sort of mismanage that every project. So I just, you know, just decided not to just color coordinate these at all. Mainly because when I sort of do a project, I take these out and the cans out. And when I try to sort of transport them, I put them in suitcase luggages. So I usually just throw them in there and then take them. So I try to organize them by color when I put them in the suitcases. And sort of like I have my gesso and sort of Mod Podge and uh, my matte medium, things like that. I have a ton of just rollers all that stuff so basically that is uh what i have sort of like near the door so i'm able to sort of e easily um take that to the car whenever i have projects and then get my chair one thing i always suggest to artists is like having something comfortable because i'm in the studio space for long periods of time so having something comfortable to sit in is something that you always need to sort of keep in mind um, because you don't want to kill your back while you're sitting all the time and then my refrigerator and i get my red bull uh fridge uh red bull supplies me with red bull all the time um get uh, my ladder and this is one of my favorite sort of uh pieces of equipment my glow forge so this is my laser cutter so i was cutting out some letters for stencil the other week um some more pieces of equipment my sort of uh my lathe machine so that does like the turning of the wood and everything uh so this is like actually where i put the circuit board for the actual interactive wall where people can touch the wall and everything some like shelving space up here so not everything is at the bottom um the hose for the laser cutter just basically goes out the window i have my uh sort of my wood cutting equipment down here my table saw i have a sort of a, uh, a vacuum to sort of connect the hose to the back of this and then throw it out the window so when i'm cutting all the sawdust and everything can just be sort of thrown out the window and then my uh, chop saw so that's one of the most important pieces of equipment that i have in here my chop saw because i use that pretty much on every project um, that i have in here even just like making canvases is super important one thing about the studio space that i really like is that when you come out here i can actually jump out the window and use this as some extra space so you can kind of see i have a table right there let me go on the other side i have a table right there 
that I've been using um, as sort of like an outside sort of area, but I've been doing a lot of just like the messy jobs uh, on the sort of rooftop right here. And basically when I sort of have something that, you know, I don't want to get inside or it's too dusty or don't want to sort of hook up the vacuum i just take it out there and basically do all the cutting and sort of the gnarly stuff even like resin pouring sometimes because that's really toxic i got another um spray paint holder on this wall right here um use that from time to time the suitcases uh that i use to transport all my paints uh, so all the caps and spray paint and sort of like maybe some rollers. I use the suitcases. I get those free. They got they were provided by a mural festival in Denver, Colorado, Crush Mural Festival. And I just kept them uh, because they just gave them to the artist. And I took some from my friends who were coming in from out of town, but they didn't have space to sort of bring it back. So I just kept the extra suitcases cooler for projects that I have outside, especially during the summertime carry drinks and snacks and stuff like that and sort of my my work boots and then a table full of all my sort of different equipments and stuff so like my drone i just got a drone the other day so basically have been using that and this is like the wall where i do a lot of my artwork uh, so this is like a hanging system so you can kind of see there's nails throughout each of these so like every i think like six inches there's a, a screw in there so basically i'm able to hang things so this one it has to actually redo because i'm working on a project where the canvas is going to be 16 feet by about four feet so i have to sort of um make this a lot larger and sort of like i'm gonna have to have one two and three along the way to sort of actually hold the canvas there's going to be two canvases like that so i got to do redo the hanging system i'll do a video on that as well um my tripod so this is for projection mapping and working on sort of like the digital work that i do but i get to display it on the wall um my other tripod that i have with uh, the phone holder i actually have two different lights that i use as well because these lights are not as bright i can actually just go and get some led lights for those that's something that i have to do and this is like where i keep a lot of my just like uh the bucket paint um tools you know nail gun all that stuff all these sort of like knickknacks and things like that uh on shelves this shelf as well and then one of the best things that i did for the studio space i actually got to do another one of these is a pegboard so having a pegboard uh, in the studio space so I can actually just, you know, hang tools on these um, sort of pegs and uh, hooks so that I'm not sort of taking up space down here and it's not as cluttered down here. I can just put them on the wall and I know exactly where they are just by looking uh, across the room. So I need to do another one of these. Uh, so that's really, really important. I suggest a lot of artists do that. And then more supplies. I actually would want to get a library. So like having sort of resources. So th those are the only books that I have right now. Um, the reason why I don't put a lot of nice stuff in here is because, you know, because I do a lot of cutting um, throughout the year. Not as much this year because of COVID, uh, but because I've done a lot of cutting in the past years, um, it just got so dusty in here and having to clean off everything has been just annoying. So I try to keep just what I need in here and nothing else. So this is basically my studio space uh, where I've just been working and it changes from time to time. I have a desk in the middle where I do a lot of my computer work. I have two, two uh, MacBooks where basically I just go through and just, you know, I grind stuff out, a lot of emails, a lot of just behind the scenes type work, uh, which is like most of what I do. But this is basically my studio space and what I've just been working on. Nothing sort of like in the studio right now. I'm working on um, welding, gonna learn some welding. So I bought a welder, just bought the gloves, the helmet, and I have a friend who's gonna teach me how to weld. I'm not gonna do it in here. It's gonna be in another space where they have sort of like a place that's made for just like metalworking. So I'm not gonna burn down this place because this place is not designed for anything um, that requires or is 
does sparking so i'm going to use that in a whole nother uh building but uh yeah so this is like the wall like i said this is where i do a lot of my painting this is basically the wall where i just display some stuff and experiment on my interactive work um and just keep a lot of my sort of street art sort of tools like the the bucket paint and sort of the the anti-graffiti coatings the primers all that stuff and then you know this area is like where i keep a lot of the rolled up canvases when i have it my extension pole things like that um and then yeah so i mean that's basically my studio space so you know if i need extra space i sometimes come out here and just use this space you know like keeping these um pieces of wood i get at uh the wood shop the other day just like keeping them out here so they're not cluttering up this space right here i'm able to do from time to time so i'm going to build the canvas out here and then bring it in here uh, to actually um, hang on the wall so that's basically what um, that process is going to look like hopefully it, it will give you some ideas in terms of how to you know organize your space i can be more organized especially over here but uh also the tools that i use and how i use it and you know some of the things that i've sort of been sort of um, placing my studio like the hanging system was something that was unique um, to me in terms of just like getting rid of that traditional easel and using the wall as sort of like a hanging system to where I can just hang on the wall and it looks like it's already hung up so it gives me more of an idea of how it's going to look in the end um, things like that and sort of other tools that I have in the studio space like the laser cutter and the you know the saw and the vacuum going out the window things like that so hopefully it will give you an idea of what you want your space to look like and the tools you want to have in your space so hopefully this video helped you out in terms of uh, the insight that I gave you about my studio space I um, definitely would love for you to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever I do videos and I will see you next time peace